MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Andrew, this is not the first time we've met, but this is the first time I've been here to JJ Hardy & Sons. Tell me a little bit about the company. Okay, good morning. Welcome to JJ Hardy's. Um, we're a long-established uh, family-run business. We're in actually on our 160th year of trading this year, uh, starting in Old Hartlepool in 1856 as a brass foundry. We've used technology since day one to stay ahead of the game. Are you ahead of the game? We'd like to think we are. We're working predominantly for um, the rail industry and uh, diesel engine manufacturing components. And what sort of materials? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's lots of castings that you're machining as well, is there? We, we machine a lot of castings on machining centres, predominantly on turning centres, we're machining bright machine, bright mild steel. That I've just picked a ticket out. Uh, yep. A pink ticket 2019 which has got your name against it and <laughs> well it's, it gets better yeah. you've just won the star prize which is a, a GS 150 hard inch CNC lathe with all of the with all of the equipment on it to the yeah. tune of about 90,000 well over 90,000 pound that sounds very good Andrew, we're here on behalf of the Engineering Technology Group because you were the lucky winner of the Hardinge GS150 lathe. The machine's in, we've seen it. What's it done for the business since its installation? Well, since the installation, uh, ETG's engineers and our engineers worked together, proved out, programmed the part. Some of the other people donated some tooling. It's gone in, the machine's up and running, and it's about 20% quicker in, in cycle time. Stuart, this is some story. The Engineering Technology Group have given away this Hardinge GS150 lathe. Is this the first time someone's given away a machine like this? Absolutely. I think, you know, the Max Shore's got a long history, probably 40 years, I guess. But um, this is the first time, to my knowledge, that a giveaway machine at the show has been done. And JJ Hardy are obviously the, the victors of this prize. It wasn't just the machine, though, was it, Stuart? It came with various options as well. Yeah, the whole peripheral package you see around the machine, um, from Hydrofeed, WNT with the tooling, Open Mind with the turning software, Gemtech with the with the coolant. Um, yeah. And if you had to put a value to this package, what what would it be? In excess of ninety-five thousand pounds. And, and I know from talking to Andrew, it wasn't just about the machine as well, because it actually came with an engineered solution of their component, correct? Yes, correct. We took one of Andrew's parts um, down to our Wellsborne facility, to our applications department, looked at the best way to, to complete the part in the best cycle time, spoke directly with WNT, got the right tooling to do the job. And what we have to do is a, is a part that I believe took around about 20% out of his um, original cycle time. And then the machine came in here, press cycle start, and they were away. Absolutely, ready to run, just press cycle start and then off we go. Why have ETG done this, Stuart? Well, we want to raise the profile of ETG. We want to make some noise in the industry just to let everybody know that you know, we're growing, we're out there and we're here to stay. And I've got to say, the exposure seems to have worked because you're shifting a lot of kit. Yeah, we are. It's, um, in terms of stock levels, we're moving a lot of stock and we've got some, some great inquiries coming through as well for 2017. And, and why do you think that is? Why, why, is it, why is things going so well for the Engineering Technology Group in 2016? I think we've got a great team of people, headed up, of course, by Martin Doyle, who's got a clear vision of where he wants to take the company, and I think he's got it right. And I believe that this giveaway was Martin Doyle's brainchild. It absolutely was, yeah. Martin, what's been your contribution to this giveaway from ETG? We contributed the MV65 short magazine bar feed to the giveaway and it complements the Hardin's GS150 lathe extraordinarily well. And, and you, you put a lot of bar feeds on these machines at the moment? We do. We supply a lot of these bar feeds, MV65s and the entire range of Hardin's equipment onto Hardin's equipment through the ETG group covering a their full range of products. And you're obviously pleased to be involved in the giveaway. What's it done for Hydrofeed or what will it do, do you think? Well, we're rather hoping that we'll get coverage, exposure uh, for Hydrofeed and lifts the profile of the business and the product range that we can supply into the industry. When it comes to Hydrofeed products, you can half sell a lot of these, don't you, Martin? We sell, we have, a, we have, a, we have a, a lion's share of the market of short magazine bar feeds, absolutely. We work very hard to maintain that 
and our range and our portfolio of products has expanded as the machine tool has have, uh, expanded in their technicalities. I, I, what I was impressed with is, and you can tell us a bit more about this LED light on the side, I, I see a lot of your equipment in the marketplace. I've not seen one with this on it. What does it tell me? The LED light, as well as being very pretty, gives live information to those people that are on the shop floor. So what it would tell operators from working on the other side of the shop floor is how much dead bar they've got left in the, in the head stock of the machine. So therefore, they can see from a distance how much time is left running on that machine. So you, you basically know when you've got no bar left? When you have no bar left and when the bar feed's going through a bar change, that light will be flashing on and off to denote that it is bar change. When it's full bar, the bar will be, the lights will be full to show that. Absolutely. Good stuff. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. So it's not just about the you being given the machine or winning the machine. It's actually added value to your manufacturing processes as well. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, that's true. We've got some uh, software, some high pressure coolant, and some really cutting edge technology on the tooling. Let, let's talk about some of the, uh, the the things that were included in in the giveaway. The first one was the Simco software. Yeah. How's that helped you? Yeah, the Simco software is um, a monitoring software, so we can see what what the machine's doing. We can analyse what it's doing and we can help educate the, the lads on the shop floor to try and keep the machine running longer. Other things as well include the tooling from WNT, I yeah. believe. The WNT tooling package is great uh, and on the back of that we've ordered some more tooling for our other machines from WNT. And um, further to that we had the Open Mind Hyper Mill software, or the Hyper Mill Turn. Yeah, Hyper Mill Turn goes sits alongside our existing uh, Open Mind software and we've now got the turning package. Matt, Open Mind were involved in this giveaway as well. What did you supply? Uh, we have supplied Hypermill Turning module, a post for the uh, lathe, and obviously some training on the turning side of things. Now, what's interesting about this, these, these guys were users of your Hypermill milling software already, weren't they? Yeah, they've uh, been long standing customers um, using our free access capabilities for quite a long time. So, the introduction of the Hypermill Turn here. Well, from, from your perspective as well, is this a big area that you're trying to promote hyper mill and open mind at the moment? Yes, it is. Uh, we are continually developing the turning. Um, a lot of people don't use turning packages, uh, so it's quite a good benchmark for us to have, obviously, customers with hyper mill and hyper mill turning. And how much value is this going to add here for JJ Hardy? Got a great machine, got a, you know great equipment there with this CAD cam as well. What's it going to do? Uh, so it's going to speed up the process of um, their turning. Uh, obviously, we can do it offline along with the milling, so obviously the machine can stay uh, active whilst uh, they have the programming done. Get more out of it. Yeah, that's it. That's what we need. More production. The Hardinge lathe is one thing, Andrew, but this was supplied by the engineering technology group, or in fact given away by them. How have they performed? Well, from, from the moment we, we won, won the machine, um, we've worked with their engineers, pre-installation, information came through, we knew exactly what was required, air and supply, we uh, cleared the area, the machine's gone in, the training went in, the engineers worked with our engineers, proved the part out, and from when I spoke to you last, I came back to the factory and it was up and running. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being high, how happy are you? I think we're at a 10. <laughs>